Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Mosaic safety controller system powering up. And what you'll notice is that um, we're using the same configuration we did last time where we have our M1, then we have our MOS8, and then we have a MR2 output relay um, module or safety relay module. And we have a power supply here. It's a Rhino uh, power supply. And the uh, power supply must be 24 volts plus or minus 2%. And that's in compliance to standard EN60204-1. It's in chapter 6.4 of the uh, manual. And it's remember, it's a good thing to remember that in the mosaic, uh, uh, you should not use to supply external devices using the mosaic itself. Our wire size is a 12 to 30 gauge solid or stranded um, and it's a 60 to 75 degree uh, uh, conductor um, temperature and of course separate power supply should be used um, for the safety module and for other electrical equipment such as the motors and inverters so you separate isolate everything and cables used for connections of longer than 50 meters must have a cross section of at least a 16 gauge or and the cross section being one millimeter square so now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca a link has been put in the description below if you have not watched the other videos yet there will be links in the description below to start you at video one there will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So I currently have my uh, mosaic wired and you'll see that I have my uh, plus will go into um, each of the controller and then jumpers to each one. This is actually pin number one on our controller and they're all pin number one so all of the cards themselves are, are um, the terminal arrangements the same so that wiring becomes easier and then we have our uh, minus or zero volts which is our blue wire and again it goes to pin number four on each of the units so it's just jumpered over and if we look at the actual unit to wire it they've uh, really uh, done a good job on this if we were to um, put our screwdriver in we can just pop out the terminal itself so we pop out the terminal then we can pre-wire and you can see we can uh, do that for all the terminals that we have so a very nice feature and all of these terminals depending on which model you have can be um, popped out and then popped back in again so we'll just pop that one back in there we go and so let's uh, power this unit up And what you'll notice, the first thing is all the lights come on just to ensure that everything's good. And we have our, our power light on, on our module on one, and on our next one. Now these two are connected by the bus unit. And on the bus unit, we can have up to 14 different uh, uh, units, four of which can be the same unit. And then we have our safety relay and we can have as many of these as we want because they are not connected to the bus so then we have our flashing comm light right here that just means that we do not have any configuration in this controller as of yet so what you'll notice is that each of the modules we have a cover when we flip that cover up we can actually then see the lights and in this case here we can actually uh, we have access to our USB port and our USB port will use a standard uh, USB connector that we will connect to configure uh, the unit. Now, If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging please link on a link below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get new videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription so you get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.